Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. And in today's episode, we are hopefully going to be getting into Mine Factory Reloaded a little bit. Um, I've got a few different things made, and I just realized that I left something down in the basement. So, um, I'd really like to get a planter and a harvester set up so that I can get an automated tree farm going because to finish this base I'm going to need a lot of wood and I just don't really feel like gathering it myself. I'd prefer to tell me that... Hmm... I think I may have made another one of these machine frames and then it despawned because I was AFK, and that makes me very sad with myself. <sighs> oh well, that's okay. There's some other stuff that we're going to have to do before we get to that point anyway. So, if we take a look at the planter, it's not too bad at first. It looks pretty reasonable. Machine frame basic, okay, piece of cake, copper gear, yup, all this kind of good stuff. Pretty easy. Then you look at plastic sheets. And to get plastic sheets, you need compressed sawdust, raw plastic, and rocket fuel from Ender.io, just for plastic sheets. So that's a little tricky. Now, the sawdust, the compressed sawdust, that's actually really easy to make because we have a bunch of sawdust from our sawmill, uh, from thermal expansion, um, and the plastic, once again, not super hard to make. We'll just uh, smelt up some rubber, which should be in here. That's easy enough, but the rocket fuel... That's a little trickier, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we need to make ourselves a way to make rocket fuel, and I think the easiest way to do that is going to be with the vat from Ender IO. So if we take a look at that, that's this right here, and we're going to need some electrical steel, which we can make in the alloy smelter that we built last episode. We're going to need some fluid tanks, and those I think I can actually make right now uh let's see i need my iron bars and i need my iron ingots let's just check those real quick uh-huh yeah 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 i think we can do those right now actually so let's go ahead and make two of those there we go and then i will need a furnace which is relatively easy to make. Um, there we go. Got the furnace. And what else do we need? We need a cauldron. That's not a cauldron. How do I make a cauldron? Ah, iron plates. Okay, that's easy. And then electrical steel and another one of these machine chassis. And for that, I'm going to need another one of these machine frames. So let me get everything together for that, guys. And I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and I've got everything ready to make the that. Now, um, I don't really know where I'm going to put this thing. Um, for now, I guess I'll just put it like right. Um here maybe that's kind of horrible and ugly but i guess it'll work uh and then i'm gonna put a tank uh i really don't like that i really don't like that at all where should i put this thing maybe i'll put it over here instead this might work yeah yeah, yeah. let's put it right here and then i'll put a tank to the left we'll go ahead and configure this so that it outputs to there. Uh, push, right? Yes. Yes, I think that'll work. Okay, now, to make rocket fuel, we need redstone and gunpowder, and that, I think, will make um, one bucket of rocket fuel. But I'm going to get a... I'm going to get a bit more just to be safe. So let's come and grab ourselves some redstone and gunpowder. Let's see. Let's grab like... 10. And... 10. Let's, let's do that. 
That should be enough. Um, we'll give that a try and see if that works for us. Ooh, actually, while I'm at it, while I'm up here, let's also grab the other stuff we need for those plastic sheets, which is this stuff right here. Okay. Now I think we're good to go ahead and give this a try. And I've never used this thing before, so hopefully it'll work the way that I expect it to. So I'm thinking we put that in there and that in there. And now they do the thing. Right? Why, why, why you no do thing? Um, does it matter what goes on what side? Hmm. Okay. Supposed to have RF. Oh. Hooch. What is hooch? I don't even know. I'm very confused. So, I need to make this hooch stuff first. How do I make that? Water, and then some sort of plant, and sugar. Okay, so looks like there's actually a couple different steps to this before I'll be able to get a decent source of rocket fuel, which is a little annoying. But, uh, you know, that's okay. We'll make it work. Uh, let's just grab ourselves some of this wheat and some of this sugar. Hopefully that will now do the trick. Let's see here. So, um, there we go. Made it. Okay. So, uh, that means these need to come out. Let's check this one more time. How much wheat? Let's see. Three and a half apples, two seeds, eight potatoes, four regular potatoes, three wheat. Okay. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then water. It needs water. Can I? No. That's all right. I know there's a water source hiding back here. I just need to get to it. Come on. Can I just, like, s sneaky jump? Eh. Ah, got it. Okay. Can I fill that up this way? Seems like it. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that will turn into that hooch stuff that I need, which should then go into this tank. I think. It seems to be working. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that did not make a full... Hmm. That did not make enough. That only made like three quarters of a bucket. Which I don't think that's going to do the trick. Because we need to make more than that. We need... Let's see. If that's making three quarters... We're going to have to do that... Once more to get a, a amount that's... Correct? If that makes any sense? Let's see. So this should output to here. We should now have... Okay, and one more should make enough that we'll have uh, basically three buckets worth, which is what we want. So that's all good. Let's fill that back up. And then once this is done, we'll take our three buckets and fill those up with this hooch stuff. There we go. So one, two, and three. And then we'll take these out, put those in, and this should now make rocket fuel. I don't know how much it's going to make, though, uh, because it doesn't actually specify the bucket amounts. So we'll have to find out, but I think we'll be okay. Let's see here. 
that used a thousand millibuckets and it output how much is it gonna output oh a thousand on the dot awesome cool so we're doing well we're doing okay uh, let's see, you still have that thing in there. I need eight of these raw plastic, I think. That should do, actually, let's do, let's do 12. That will give me enough to make everything I need. And I think this will be good then. So we should have two buckets of rocket fuel. We've got some plastic sheets. And now we can put the rocket fuel like so, those things like so, and those like that. Nope, just kidding. I think it's like this. There we go. And that gives us two plastic sheets, which is what we need to make one machine from Mine Factory Reloaded. That's really kind of overly complicated, but you know what? It works. It's fine. Um, and then if I fill this up, I will have enough to make one more of these machines and then we're set so we've got the vat going uh, let me take a look at the mine factory machines guys and i'll be back with you in just a little bit all right guys i am back and i think i've got everything now that i need to make the planter and the harvester um i just need to make the gears and those are pretty easy to do we'll just drain them out of here it's two gold gears and two copper gears, two copper gears for the planter, two gold gears for the harvester. And that should be everything I need. Then I'll need a way to power it, and I'll need a way to move the items about. Uh, but that all should be pretty easy as well. I think I'm probably just going to use like an energy cell uh, for some of that stuff. And I'll have to work a couple other things out as well. But that's okay. Let's get this going. There we go, we got our gears. Let's go ahead and make, first of all, the harvester. And I'm just going to do this, because it won't auto-do the uh, the recipe, since there's these axes and the shears and stuff in there. Um, why? Why? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the harvester. And then the planter, if I remember correctly is that yeah there we go so we now have the planter and the harvester from mine factory reloaded those will do amazing things for us as we go along here let me just dump these ingots back in a way and now we need to see about setting this stuff up and this is where it could get a little bit tricky um i've got a hardened energy cell Hmm, I should probably set the tree farm up out there somewhere, but I need a better way to move items around. So let's take a look at item ducts. Let's see here. Item ducts, I'm going to need hardened glass, and for that I will need obsidian. Hmm, that'll make six of them though, which isn't too bad. Yeah, I think we'll do item ducts, and then I'll need... Oh, that's right, though. If I do this, I'm going to need a sludge boiler as well. I totally forgot about that. Uh, let's see, sludge boiler. Uh, sludge boiler actually isn't too bad, although I will need another machine frame. Hmm. But we did get the vat up and running. Let me put some thought into this, guys. I think I'm going to... I might actually end up going an entirely different route, Uh but I am actually out of time for this episode. This might be a little bit shorter for you guys. I'm sorry about that, but um, I've been... It takes a long time to craft this stuff, so I'm just kind of out of time myself. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.